everyone and welcome to Technical Tuesdays. This week we're going to talk about locating leaks with the Tiny S handheld fog machine. When paired with the blower door, this can make air currents visible so that we can see where the leaks are occurring. You can have your blower door running in any direction, however I like to pressurize the house because I think it's easier to see the fog when it's escaping the building envelope when I'm inside it. You can use this along the building shell or you can use this uh, for interior doors for rooms that are on exterior walls. Whether the door is open or closed, you can pressurize the house and then see if that fog moves inward to the bedroom. For example, here we have a door shut and we can see the fog moving underneath that doorway, which is telling us that there's some leaks in this room somewhere. As we narrow it down a little bit more, we can see that this fog is moving underneath this wall. This is an attic knee wall that's not sealed. There's air escaping as we can see here, as we can see the fog move underneath this wall. You can also use this to find leaks in ductwork as you pressurize the house. Here we can see a disconnected duct where we can see that smoke moving rapidly into the uh, supply register here. Or you could depressurize the house too, as our friend Richard Sims sent this video into us a while back. Uh, you can see that they're checking out a sealed attic that has some holes in it. So as they're depressurizing the attic space with the blower door, you can see that smoke blowing back at them. One of the toughest things about finding air leaks is air is invisible. So this is one way we can make it visible uh, to make our job easier as we're looking for issues in the building envelope. Join us back here again next week as we talk about a new topic. Thanks again for watching.